If you see me in the streets, better holler at me Seeking for a beat, throw them dollars at me I don't like the feet, take that away from me You trying to be like me, you couldn't handle my story But we gon' let you know, we gon' let you know We gon' let you know, we gon' let you know Ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? Thank you for tuning in and welcome back to yet another episode of Mr. J's Reaction. Um, they call me Jay and I'm a mobile and then I leave out in the diaspora. And uh, every single day I do drop a vlog um, pertaining to issues coming out of Africa because I am the son of the sword. So thank you for coming through. I just want to acknowledge all of you guys that have been watching me, man. USA, Germany, Canada, Italy. Netherlands, Barbados, Macedonia, Norway, Russia, um, Thailand, India, uh, Dubai. I see Dubai coming through, Qatar, I see Qatar coming through, uh, Cameroon, um, Kenya, Liberia. Have I talked about Kenya already? Yes, all of you guys, I just want to say thank you and it's always a blessing to have you on board. And I do hope that your October, the month of October is going pretty good for you. Thank you and I love you for that. Now ladies and gentlemen, this vlog we are going to talk about uh, another French colony dropping French as its official language. Yes, this colony is Algeria. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if most of you didn't know Algeria was a French colony and Algeria was a very special kind of colony unlike all the other African colonies where they went to steal resources they went to Algeria back in the 1800s and they fell in love with Algeria and they decided that they go move in into Algeria and colonize the place and take over all the land now we all know how that went everywhere the French went they had to kill a whole lot of people and force their, their, their dictums and their ways on that community. So Algeria is one of these country, one of those countries that they did that. And then this gentleman, um, the Algerian administration just announced that they are going to drop French as its official language. Given the history that France has had in Africa, and given the fact that recently French speaking African colonies have been standing up against France, some kicking them out and asking the ambassadors to leave, and some denying them access to certain things in their countries, it's just but normal that some of these African colonies start thinking. They came in, they took our, our land, they killed us, and they imposed their way of education on us so if we do not like them why are we going to keep their way of education why are we going to keep speaking their language so we need to do away with this language by the way let me just say this Algeria is one of those countries following suit we know that in the 1900s man in the 1990s man Rwanda after its genocide Rwanda used to speak French. Rwanda was actually a French-speaking colony. And then the genocide happened and to, to distance itself from France and all the manipulation and all the... And by the way, France is responsible for the genocide in Rwanda, instigating brothers to go at loggerheads so that they can steal resources. You are... I mean, I pray that the ICC should actually take a, a deeper look at these things. But we, who are we kidding? The ICC is already corrupt. Ladies and gentlemen, so Rwanda is one of those French, the countries that drop French as its national language. Paul Kagame, His Excellency Paul Kagame came in and he changed everything after understanding the role of the West in the whole genocide that happened. This man switched everything up and Rwanda is what it is today. And one of the most powerful things that any society can do is to change the educational curriculum of its country. You cannot say that you want to kick away a colonial master. You cannot say that you want to do away with an imperialist. But still, you use their educational curriculum for your children. That is like just you just beating around the bush. So Algeria came out today that any school that is going to be teaching in French will be in disagreement, will be in problems. 
if they continue using the French curriculum and the French language. Now, as you all know, man, Africa is a big continent with countries, beautiful countries with beautiful cultures and beautiful languages. Every country in Africa has sub languages. Now, I don't know how many, how many exist in Algeria, but I do know that there are some local languages in Algeria. Just like in my country, Cameroon, we have over 150 dialects, sub-languages that are spoken by various villages and tribes. I know that in every African country, we do have this, even if it's the Arab part of Africa. They are still Africa. Some of them might not see themselves as Africans, but I will call any Tunisian, Libyan, Algerian, Egyptian, I will call them my brother. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the fact that Algeria, after rejecting aid from France with the recent catastrophe that happened, and then rejecting to give French military access to its airspace to attack and invade Niger, and now Algerian administration, they are rejecting French. Now, this is going to take a while to translate, to transform every single document, official documents that are circulating in that country from French to the language that the administration is going to put in place. It's just like what Mali did a couple of months ago. Mali is another African country that had a coup and they have been working to kick France out of its territory and its resources and they did so and they were smart enough and there was a vote and every Malian agreed that French is no longer needed. So they are going to gradually translate all their official documents from French into the languages that exist in Mali. Now I want to say this, every French speaking African colony currently speaking French today is as a result of the Berlin Conference. It's as a result of uh, the scramble for Africa. It's as a result of continuous decades of continuous colonization, recolonization, brutalization from these Western countries. Now, when you look at Africa, part of Africa during the scramble was divided between French, Spanish, Portuguese, and the British. Which is why, when you look at Africa today, some of the countries in Africa either speak French or they speak English or they speak Spanish or they speak Portuguese. Now in recent years, some countries have been coming up and deciding, you know what, we are going to use our own national language. Meanwhile, other African colonies to do, to European powers, they still maintain English and French. I want to throw this back at you. Do you think that kicking away French in a colonial master's official language is going to be a, a better way to, to, to promote national dialogue, to bring about people to, 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 to rally around a common good for every African society, every African country. And in this case we are talking about Algeria. Is kicking or stopping the French language in the Algerian curriculum going to help the country rally against a common good? Leave a comment. I hope you did give us that thumbs up, man. Hit that like button, smash, and I hope you did consider joining the family. You will love us, you feel me? Cheers. Creation, reaction, God. Big up the RB family. Mr. J, I see you. I know some artists don't do this. God bless you and your families.